Hello, it's uh, Monday, July 16th, um, 2012. And I'm down here in my lab doing a quick little experiment with my new coil design. Uh, it's the Bob Boyce coil. Um, as you can see, I've got the coil here. I've got his little pulse board here. Being driven by my little Arduino. A um, bunch of meters here hooked up, uh, showing my output voltage and current, along with my output or input current. Um, but that's not what I'm trying to record here. What I'm trying to record is absolutely neat. I've got my oscilloscope over here hooked up, and I'm hoping I can get this recorded. Um, hooked up to show basically the x, uh, an XY plot of the coil. And as I crank up the pulse width, you can actually see the ether form around the field. This is incredible. Watch the individual parts as they come into sync with each other. This is absolutely well. Here, let me kill this light and see if it will come in better. And as I'm turning out my pulse width, you can actually see the ether starting to form around the coil, coming in closer and closer until we actually start resonating. This is absolutely wild. At the moment I don't have heat sinks on, so I'm not going to turn it up too high. That's about as high as I want to go with it. Um, so you can see all the uh, windings there. We are actually creating quite a bit of light here. Um, this is wild. This is absolutely wild. As I'm turning it back down, you can actually see the energy going away from the coil back over here to a point of nothing. And as I started going, energy is coming into the coil. Coming in, if my screwdriver doesn't slip off. Uh, there we go. This is incredible. And actually, I wish I had an X, Y, and Z axis. You're only looking at two of the three windings right now in their phase relationship. But this will make a very, very cool three-dimensional plot. Wow, absolutely incredible. So cool. You can actually see the, um, whatever they call it, the uh, lexodrome pattern here. This curvature, the ether field itself. This is absolutely wild. Screwdriver back in. There we go. And as we get closer and closer, the energy bring more and more in with our pulse width. All the energy just kind of converges right here. And 
And just for reference, I'm actually on a 10x probes right now. And we are at about so the 10x Pro about 20 volts per division. And as you can see the how the voltage concentrates. Pretty much in sync right there. Absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Absolutely incredible. And that's at, well, actually, I'm running at 14.2857 kilohertz for my um, driving frequency, but as you can see, it's actually hit a resonance of its own at about 129 kilohertz. That is being totally driven by whatever. Um, and here we have our pulse width modulation um, control, the duty cycle, which is why I was adjusting. And as we're going up with it, just to give you the idea of voltages we're creating, as I'm cranking up the voltages or the pulse width, this is our output voltage, of course. Turn it down because I'm not running any heat sinks at the moment. If I get more than about a half an amp here, I'm starting to get warm down here. So I'm going to keep it down tonight. This is just my first experiment. But very fascinating, very fascinating. Well, that's it. Again, it's July 16, 2012, and uh, wow, so much more to go here. Bye.